Boba was on Geonosis when his father died. He watched as I killed him. That would complicate things. Indeed. Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker as the war progressed, Boba Fett conspired to assassinate Windu out of vengeance for the death of father, the clone template Jango Fett. Aided by the bounty hunters Aura Singh, Bosk, and Casters, Fett infiltrated a squad of clone cadets during a tour of Windu's starship, the Venator-class Star Destroyer Endurance. Initially, Fett intended to kill Windu by placing an explosive device in the latter's quarters. However, the Jedi Master was called away mere seconds before the bomb was triggered, resulting in the death of a clone trooper. As the Endurance crew searched the vessel for Windu's would-be assassin, the rogue clone amended his plan by sabotaging the Star Destroyer's reactor core, causing the starship to crash into the surface of the planet Vancor. After escaping the doomed vessel, Windu and Skywalker's search for survivors led them to an escape pod that contained the cadets with the exception of Fett, whom Singh retrieved in Slave Eye prior to the Jedi's arrival. In the aftermath of the destruction of the Endurance, Windu and Skywalker traveled to the crash site hoping to find survivors, including Admiral Killian and CT-411, both of whom opted to remain with the ship as it went down. During the search, Windu chastised Skywalker for encouraging individuality in his droid, the astromech unit R2-D2. Before long, the Jedi generals discovered several dead clones along with signs that they had survived the crash only to be executed shortly after. On the bridge Skywalker discerned a Mandalorian helmet in the rubble. At that moment, Windu remembered both Jango and Boba Fett, leading the Jedi Master to realize that it was the latter who attempted to assassinate him. Although Windu was unable to prevent Skywalker from triggering the bomb within the helmet, he succeeded in saving the younger Jedi's life by pulling him away from the explosion through the Force. The blast caused even more damage to Bridge, however, leaving both men trapped and injured under a large pile of debris. Unable to escape on their own, Skywalker instructed R2-D2 to relay their situation to the Jedi Temple. Windu, on the other hand, expressed little faith in the droid's ability to succeed. As they lay trapped and waiting for the droid to return with help, Windu began to reflect on his actions at the Battle of Geonosis, particularly his victory over Jango Fett and how Boba witnessed his father's death at Windu's hand. Ultimately, Skywalker's droid returned with a rescue party, consisting of Plo Koon, Ahsoka Tano, and the clone troopers of Wolfpack, and managed to save both Jedi just prior to the full collapse of the Endurance Bridge. Before returning to Coruscant, Windu praised R2-D2 for saving his life, much to Skywalker's surprise. After returning to the Republic capital, Windu and Skywalker recuperated at the Jedi Temple where they initially argued over their next course of action in light of Fett's attempt on their lives. Although Skywalker insisted that the Jedi should hunt the renegade clone and bring him to justice, Windu was content to let the matter go, preferring to not become entangled in a vendetta as Fett was against him. A transmission from Aura Singh, who revealed the hostages she took from the Endurance, changed the Jedi Master's mind. Windu decided to confront Fett and his accomplices upon witnessing Singh's execution of CT-411, but due to his injuries he allowed Kuhn and Tano to go in his stead. Their mission was a success, resulting in Fett's arrest and the rescue of the remaining hostages. On Coruscant, Windu confronted Fett in person, who regretted his actions on the Endurance, but refused to forgive the Jedi for Jango's death. The unrepentant clone was then sent to prison by Windu.